They're bearers of knowledge from ancient times. They've been in an isolated crevice of the Sierra Madre for centuries, far away from the movement and the evolution of Western culture. They've explored a cosmic landscape that most of us don't even have a clue exists. The Weichel people have a whole different perspective about why human beings are on this earth and what is our birthright or what it is we're supposed to be doing on this planet. Es como nuestro madre o nuestro padre todo eso, o sea, es el que nos da vida, pues. The extraordinary Huichol culture dates back thousands of years. Rezo para para pedir a heredar mi familia, lo que yo conozco. I think they hold many lessons for humanity just by the mere fact that they've been able to survive for all of these centuries. But today, this ancient civilization is being attacked on all fronts, plagued by disease and poverty, their sacred hunting grounds destroyed by logging and highways. Three decades ago, Susana Valadez, an American student, visited the Huichol homeland in the mountains of Mexico's Sierra Madre. I was going down for a two-week field study so I could write my master's dissertation. And uh, I, I didn't have a clue that I'd be spending the rest of my life there. What Susana saw changed her life. Mothers who were trying to breastfeed their kids but had no milk because they were so malnurtured and cradling their babies in their arms while they waited for them to die. I mean, that, those images, you know, they chill my soul even today as I speak about that. And it just wasn't fair. Susana couldn't walk away from the hardship. After falling in love and marrying a Huichol artist, Mariano Valadez, Susana knew that unless something was done, this rich culture would disappear. She launched the Weichel Center as a lifeline to save a dying people. To ensure that Weichel children no longer starve, a soy dairy was set up, run entirely by Weichel women. We're literally putting a cow in every kitchen with the soy milk, protein that was not otherwise available to them. The Weichel Center also tackled poverty at the source. The first vision of the Weichel Center was to create right livelihood jobs for Weichel people that respected and embraced the cultural tradition and built upon it. One of the first to arrive was an artist, Gonzalo Hernandez. He was hungry and penniless. Gonzalo Hernandez is a modern day scribe. He is one of the last of a dying breed of Weichel artists who paint with yarn. The Weichel Center gave him the tools and a place to practice his art. Cada cosa tiene mucho significado. Cada pluma significa mucho. Tiene muchas etapas. Y la y la jícara y las flores y los serpientes. Quizás si si yo preparo a mis familias, ellos pueden pueden dar a otras a otras personas. Those visions are revealed to the Weichels during their peyote rituals. It's not like a bunch of guys saying, oh, hey, let's go get high. The peyote is their teacher. It's the mind behind nature that tunes them into a whole other universe, opens up a whole other universe that's invisible to the Western mind. The jaguar spirit, the life-giving goddess, Tekutsi Nakawe, the mystical deer shaman, Kayumari. Each image connects the Weichels to a mystical realm. The Weichel art is like a story, it's like a book. After seeing the power of Weichel art, Simon Rose has joined the effort to save this indigenous nation from extinction. When we lose true indigenous people on this planet, we lose a very important part of our humanity. Angelica is cataloging and preserving the complex Weichel culture. It's an important mission for the center, where it's common practice to bring your kids to work every day. 
he valorado más lo que es la ceremonia. Quisiera seguir estudiando más y me gustaría estudiar antropología. Quiero superarme y hacer muchas cosas en, en la vida y ayudar a mi cultura.